Hello everyone, Mumbles Mumble here. Today I'm going to be mixing resins with uh, decoupage paint. Seems to work pretty well. It's a lot cheaper than uh, using resin dyes. The resin dyes are these here. They dye it. Uh, you get like a clear color, blue or yellow or orange. But I'm going to do um, some different colors. Give it like this aqua effect. It's kind of cool. Just mixing with resin. Got to add a little bit more hardener to make it harden. And you don't need much uh, paint to do it. I'm going to use uh, the Martha Stewart's Craft Glitter Green. Some green, some sparkly. I got another Martha Stewart's uh, Glitter, just a multicolor. It's kind of a, like a bronze color. And then I found just a, a cheap craft paint. Let's see, Craft Smart. These paints are um, 2 to $3 a piece. It's a lot better than buying the resins ones, which are. Uh, six dollars a piece then i'm going to be putting them in my molds and i have these um tire molds i made to make good necklaces another weird looking one here all right so i already got my hardener in there so let's add a couple of this uh what color is this this is called yellow bright probably don't need that much of it Mix that in there so it looks like. All right, I think I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle in it. Sometimes I add a little bit more hardener, seems to work a little better. Alright, that's pretty cool looking. I like that color. Alright, now we're going to add the bronze to this one. Maybe. It's called Fire Opal. Oh, I thought it was bronze. I was going to do tangerine, but I think I'm going to do a different right. color. This one here is called bronze stone. Oops. Might help if I mix it up. There we go. This would make some awesome color, different color molds. Alright, that's pretty cool. Get out my different color molds. I forgot to clean this one. Got this one here. Got this one here. This one here, I stuck a ring into it with some mold that wasn't sticking. Let's see how that works out, too. Alright, here we go with the first one. This mold here makes them come out shiny on the bottom and the top, which is kind of nice. Mix these all up. And that one there is the uh, Fire Opal. This one here is a bronze fire. Or no, I'm getting all these mixed up. Bronze stone, it says right there. Hmm, I'm starting to like that one better. So I added some uh, parts jewelry to make them stick better so I could hang them on and stuff. This is more of a mess I created. Here we go. And some weird ring. And don't Hello everybody, Mumbles Mumble here. 
I'm going to do the last of my resin for a while. I have so much resin, I don't know what to do with resin jewelry. This is what I have so far. Couple of all resin. Way too much. I even have more up here. Show you guys here. All over here. Just so much resin, I really don't know what to do with. This one here is just one big uh, screw up resin. Just won't, it won't harden. There's, there's a couple of them like that. So I don't know. I'm done. Anyways, get back to the one we were doing, which is right here from yesterday, which you guys won't know that. So I was doing the tires, and all this stuff is hard. I threw some extra stuff that there is glow in the dark material, but it never hardened, so it just. Gooey. Ugh. It's like bubblegum. It's pretty nasty. That's a fail. And we have some here. I put some put some pieces in so I can hook them on better. I might be able to do something with those, but pretty much done with all this. These here are set them on the side. Clean up my molds later. That's not so bad. It's nice that they have something in them for a change. This one here, I threw uh, another piece of mold on top of a mold to see what it would do. Trim it up. It was not going to look too bad, but we'll see what happens. Nice and sparkly. These here didn't turn out too bad. Leaves mix of stuff but this is it for now next week I think we'll go back to the uh, building the teardrop birdhouses after I clean up my shop some of these not not bad but eh, kind of boring I think See how these turned out. These are supposed to be my shiny ones. And they kind of came out dull. I think I uh, overused this uh, mold. It used to come out a lot shinier. It's smooth though, it's nice. My mom could probably work with something with those. These aren't bad. These molds really come in handy. A lot easier than making them. I made a few. We're going to try these. These are my tire molds I made. They come out clear on this side, but they always seem to come out dull on the other side. Let me get it out of there. Alright, well, that one's kind of cool. They're like razor blades right here. They're like saw blades. That's pretty neat, though. I like that one. Check out this one here. this one out. See it has a bubble right there. Alright. The tire molds come out kind of cool. They make good uh, pendants or something. Here's my last but not least. Last mold of the season. Alright. Looks like pepper. So here's my three molds I made out of uh, tires. Pretty cool. And let's move all this stuff out of the way. I'll show you the show you the tires I used. I have them right here. Okay, I lied. Okay, here's one. And this is the mold I was using for it. I made out of it. So that's how it went. This was using silicone and some uh Decolipodge paint and a little bit of oil and made this made this mold that fits in here Like that And made this tire which is it's pretty cool Something different Hi, Mumbles Mumbles here. Please subscribe to my channel Or check me out on Facebook